द वेरी फर्स्ट स्टेप विच यू हैव टू डू इज यू हैव टू ओपन द ब्राउजर नो मैटर इफ यू आर यूजिंग मोबाइल फोन और लैपटॉप और कंप्यूटर द प्रोसेस इज गोइंग टू बी सेम सो ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज यू हैव टू फॉलो द सेम स्टेप्स इवन इफ यू आर यूजिंग मोबाइल वंस यू ओपन योर ब्राउजर इन गूगल यू हैव टू टाइप एच डी एफ सी एंड यू कैन सर्च फॉर एच डी एफ सी नेट बैंकिंग एंड द वेरी फर्स्ट लिंक विच इज नेट बैंकिंग डॉट एच डी एफ सी बैंक डॉट कॉम यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट दैट पर्टिकुलर लिंक एंड वंस यू सिलेक्ट दैट यू आर ऑन द लॉग इन पेज नाउ यू विल रिक्वायर कस्टमर आई डी एंड user id to complete the login process now if you don't know your uh, user id or customer id you can just click on forgot customer id and then you will be able to uh, get your customer id which you can use to complete the login process now if you want a dedicated video for that you can just let me know in comment section and i'll make a video on that as well so i'm going to enter the customer id and the password and i'm going to complete the login process and then i'll show you the next step i have entered the customer id and password now uh, all you have to do is in authentic message you have to tick mark this check box and click on login once the login is completed this is the basic page which you will be able to see on your laptop or on your mobile screen now to do the transaction through net banking or to transfer money through net banking all you have to do is you have to click the second option which is on the top uh, which is fund transfer after selecting that you have to just scroll down and you can see the transaction type now there are multiple ways by which you can simply transfer the money from your account so the very first step is like you can transfer within the bank like you can transfer the money from your own account to your other own account and the second is imps and after that there is an option of neft rtgs so there are multiple payments option which you can choose now i am going to show you how you can transfer money using imps now all you have to do is you have to click on go option but before uh, guiding you through the next step all you have to uh, uh, keep in mind is that you have to add a beneficiary account which will uh, we will be needing over here so beneficiary you can add using the hdfc uh, application and uh, after adding that that particular beneficiary will be visible over here in this particular option which says select a beneficiary so uh, moving uh, forward with the process uh, the first option is from account so you have to select your account after selecting our account we will be able to uh, see our account number and the current balance and in beneficiary you have to select the account of that particular person to whom you are going to transfer the amount now which is why uh, i told you that it is necessary to add the beneficiary first so that you can do from the application itself after adding the beneficiary you can see after selecting the beneficiary uh, we will be able to see his account number ifsc code and the account type in amount section you have to enter the amount i am going to enter 1000 and in remark i am as i am you know showing this for testing purpose i have entered the text and scroll down you have to tick mark this particular check box over here uh, which says uh, terms and conditions and after doing that click on continue option on the next page you have to confirm all the details over here so you have to check your from which account the money is going to be debited and to which account it is going to be credited so you can check all the details over here once it has been confirmed click on confirm option on the next page uh, you will be able to uh, you know see your email id and mobile number so you have to confirm that you have to click this particular check box and click on continue so you will be receiving an otp on the next page so once you receive the otp you have to enter that particular otp over here and click on continue and the transaction will be done so i'm going to do that i have entered the otp and let's click on continue now and now you can see the transaction is successful so you get a message of thank you for banking with us and this is the reference number if i scroll down now you can see very properly your request for imps fund transfer transaction of rupees 1000 has been accepted so the money has been transferred to the beneficiary or to whom uh, whoever you want to transfer that money has been transferred you can check out the reference number and if you want to make another transfer you can just click on make another transfer and you can carry on with your transactions so guys these are the simple steps which you have to follow if you want to uh, you know transfer money from your account using hdfc net banking so if you like this video if you find this informative please do like this video and also uh, you can comment down below if you have any questions and i'll see you all in the next one thank you